What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. Toaster Tuesday. We're back at it. Thanks so much for watching and uh, just to kick things off real quick, I just want to talk about number one. We got some XP t-shirts finally in the Extreme Daily Driver shop. Check it out. It's the Disobey T. Head over to the link down in the description box if you want to pick one up. You can help the channel out that way. It goes a long way if you do. And more importantly, repping the channel is super cool. And if you do, please make sure you share it on your social networks. Number two, we just hit 5,000 subs. Way quicker than I actually thought we would, so I am super pumped. I want to thank each and every one of you so much for tuning in, hitting that subscribe button, and tuning in every single Tuesday or whenever I put a video out. It means a ton. So thank you very much for all the support. So let's go ahead and get this video started with a mod that I've been wanting to do since 06 when I had my original XV, but we're doing it to this one and that is changing out the steering wheel to the correct wheel, which is the same wheel that is found in the Toyota BB over in Japan. All right, so here's the wheel that I got from the junkyard up close and personal. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've been looking in junkyards for this wheel for a long time. I've probably looked at probably eight or nine different vehicles and believe it or not, this wheel is in the best condition out of any of the wheels that I've seen. So uh, I don't know what it is with these steering wheels. People chew on them. People wear acid gloves and then go driving. I don't know what they do, but I mean, it's just always in terrible shape. And we can't have this in the box. I mean, it's just not gonna do. So when I first was considering this mod, I reached out to a buddy of mine on Facebook who has already done this mod. And uh, I was asking him for advice, asking him for kind of, you know, what he run into while doing the swap and so on. And noticed that he didn't have a leather wrapped steering wheel. It was the rubber one, but it was in really good condition. And I said to him, you know, do you know of any kind of leather wraps available for the steering wheel? Because I reached out to redlinegoods.com. If you don't know them, they make shift boots, armrest covers, um, all sorts of leather goods, emergency brake covers, and uh, they will actually rewrap your steering wheel if you send it to them. And after going over their pricing, it was $300 for them, to, for them to wrap your steering wheel in leather. I was like blown. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to spend $300 on wrapping a steering wheel. And I said, hey, do you know any other options? And he said, you can buy a leather wrap. And he knows the guy that's selling them for 75 bucks. So I did a little research and I found on eBay that they're selling them for 25 bucks. So I ordered this puppy up from China. As you can see here, automotive steering wheel cover. Um, this thing was ordered, I think, in March, and it got here in May. It took forever, thanks to the virus. But anyway, let's open her up. I've already been through this, but I wanna show you guys what comes in the box. All right, so we got our cover. We got a kit. And we have a directions on how to sew. So starting off with the leather first, it is in really, really nice condition. I'm shocked at the quality of the leather. So to give you an idea of how it's gonna go on the wheel, this is gonna be the bottom piece. These are gonna be the sides, perforated, and then up top, we just have our flat leather. So now what you get in the tool kit is you get one of these tools here for kind of tucking your leather. You get some double-sided tape. You obviously get some needle and thread, and I went with black. I'm sure you could just go to like Walmart or something like that and get a different color thread if you wanted to. And then you get this thing, which I think is kind of like a thimble. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but we'll figure it out. And lastly, you're going to go ahead and get yourself some directions, okay? So these directions, uh, they're actually really well written, believe it or not. Uh, they, they are actually very good. I've read these directions probably 10 times, and I've watched probably 10 YouTube videos on how to stitch up this cover. And even with all of that kind of research and studying, I'm still incredibly nervous to take on this project. All right, guys, I'm bringing this inside. I'm gonna get it done in here where it's nice and cool, but uh, I'm not gonna film it because quite honestly, I've never done this before. And uh, there are a million videos already on YouTube showing you how to do it. And uh, I'm nervous about it. And I don't really need a camera on me. So hopefully I can get this thing done. Wish me luck. All right guys, so before I show you the finished product here, before I show this to you, let me just start off by saying, I was told by a buddy of mine who I met on Facebook that the installation of a leather wrap on a steering wheel is quote unquote, pretty straightforward. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. I would rather pull an engine 
<laughs> on a car that I have no idea about than to re-wrap one of these steering wheels, man. I'm telling you, I am not a sewer. So the fact that this turned out as good as it did is a shocker because, like I said, I don't want to name names. But the dude from Facebook knows who he is. And, uh, yeah, man, I can't wait for him to try to do this because, <laughs> oh, God, it's terrible. But anyway, check it out. Here it is. It turned out pretty darn good. Let me put it down on the table so you guys can see it better. Or I'll lean it up against here, actually. So, uh, dude, first of all, first of all, the kit is killer. I mean, the quality of the leather, dude, is really phenomenal. Like, I, I cannot complain at all. It was cut properly. I mean, uh, and seriously, I mean, uh, now, okay, so, so let's talk about the stitching for a minute, all right? So there's some parts of this that are better than others because, you know, you it it's sectioned off. So, you know, this is a section, this is a section, and this is a section. So the, you, my first section, I wasn't nearly as good as the last section. So um, at some point, I can redo this if I want to. Um, I don't know that I will. We'll see how it holds up in the car. I think it's going to be fine, but I guess we'll find out, all right? But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So stitching-wise, I hope you guys can see that, all right? A pretty typical pattern. Now, obviously, I could have used a different color thread. But I think black is best, especially when you're a beginner like me. I hope this is showing up. Um, but yeah, when you're a beginner like me, you kind of want to hide your stitching. You don't want to show it off. So, uh, so yeah, man, turned out pretty killer. Not sure if I mentioned it before, but if you guys want a link to uh, this little wrap here that I got, I'll go ahead and try to find it on eBay and put it down in the product description. I know Amazon sells wraps that are similar, but uh, I'm really happy the way this turned out. So good news, look what just came in the mail, guys. Let's get this guy open. I got this off of eBay. All right, so check this out. This is an airbag from a Celica. I think it's like the year, the last year of the Celica, which was like 98 to 2002 or something like that. They rocked this steering wheel with uh, the steering wheel center. Um, you can also get this from a Toyota Matrix or a certain years of Corollas. And you can also get it from a Pontiac Vibe. This is in really good shape, really happy with it. These are hard to find too. You can't buy these at the junkyard. I tried to buy one at the junkyard. I just assembled it, brought it to them, and they said, you can't have airbags. <laughs> so they took it away from me, wouldn't let me buy it. Um, they probably sold it on eBay though. And here's the back of it. Airbag is in place. And uh, yeah, looks sweet. So let's go ahead and set it into the center of the wheel and see what the final product's gonna look like here. Oh yes, dude. Oh yes. Get in there. Oh, like a glove. What do you guys think? Woo, it looks killer. Love it, man. So what an absolute killer upgrade this will be to the interior, but we're not done yet because I got one more thing to add since we're messing around with steering wheels. Why don't we add the Pontiac Vibe wiper stalk here that I got from the junkyard. I think it was $7 or something like that. So what this stalk does is it allows many more options for intermittent wipers that our stock XBs don't have, and this plugs right in. So it's a mod I've never done. It's been around forever. It's one of the cheapest mods you could do for your box. Some people say it's the best mod you could do for your box. I guess it depends on your climate. But we're going to go ahead and install this since we're taking everything apart. So now the first thing you want to do before you start anything is you're going to go ahead and disconnect the negative cable on this battery and the positive cable. Now I can't stress to you enough how important it is to disconnect that battery. We're messing around with airbags. You do not want any charge in the system. Disconnect that battery, turn your headlights on, and drain whatever's left in that system. All right, and if you even wait another 30 minutes if you can, just to make sure there's nothing left in the system of the car that could possibly trigger an airbag. This is extremely important. Don't screw this up. All right, guys, battery disconnected, as you can see. Turn the headlights on. Nothing actually happened, but the system drained. He tried turning the car on. Absolutely nothing would happen. So pretty confident that we're ready to go ahead and start disassembling stuff. Now, first step is we need a Torx bit that fits in that hole there. Can you guys see that in there? Now, you might not have a Torx bit at home. I certainly didn't for a long time, but they sell them on Amazon. Let me show you the kit that I have. 
So here's the Torx bit set that I have, this Tac Life thing. I got this off Amazon. I will put a link down in the description box if you guys want to pick up one of these, but these are just an awesome tool. I bought this when I was reassembling the Prelude. And you get a full set here of bits that'll fit on your drive. And I think we need this one right here, T125. Let's go ahead and see if this guy will work. All right, I went ahead and rotated the steering wheel up so I have easier access to the bolt hole. And I got a T127 in here. And let's see if we can get it. Yep, there it goes. Pretty easy. All right, so I got both of those bolts loosened up. And now this whole centerpiece is loose. And you can see here that we have some plugs. And we gotta go ahead and disconnect those. Should be pretty straightforward. All right, guys, let me give you a better idea of how this wiring works here. This guy was able to pull out. He wants, he goes there, and basically all this is is a ground wire. Um, so he's all disconnected. Now, this guy, as far as I can tell, does not get disconnected. It stays. All right, so the wiring is going to stay in the car, and we are going to go ahead and disconnect from the back of the airbag. So as you can see here, let me move the camera to give you a better look. All right, as you can see here, we got a red and we got a black or orange, whatever you want to call that. So on the black, I've gone ahead and pulled up this yellow tab here. This is kind of a locking mechanism that is necessary in order to remove the wiring. So you pull that up, and what I used to pull it up was one of these little picks. Got one of these from uh, Harbor Freight. You get underneath it, and you pull it up, so it gets to that point. And then from here, we should be able to just pull it off, and there it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this one and get the bag out of the car. All right, so now that we got the bag removed, let's go ahead and get the wheel off. You're gonna need yourself a 19 millimeter socket. Make sure your wheel's centered. Go ahead and remove that bolt. Jeez, after 275,000 miles, it doesn't wanna come off. There it goes. You might want to wear a mouthpiece while doing this. All right, guys, so here are the two airbags. We got Scion on the left, Toyota on the right. You notice there's a ground wire coming off the Scion bag, not one on the Toyota bag, so we're gonna to have to address that. But even though these igniters look very similar, they are different. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to remove the igniter off the Toyota bag, remove the igniter off the Scion bag, and put the Scion igniter on the Toyota bag. All right, so we got an eight millimeter socket. Go ahead and loosen these four bolts. Do the same over here, then switch the bags, and we should be good. All right, so I went ahead and switched the igniters around, and funny enough, it says BB on the back of the bag there. So that's a sign igniter on the Toyota wheel. I'm gonna put these little bolts back on, and we should be in business. So the next thing to address is the ground wire. It's got its own riveted in spot here on the old Scion XB steering wheel. So we're gonna have to go ahead and cut that wire, put a little spade end on it, and then we're gonna ground it right here on the Toyota wheel. So I dug around and I was able to find a kind of female end here, and I went ahead and spliced in the negative connector. So I used one of these new splices that uh, I've actually never used before, but you connect two wires together and then you melt this thing. There's solder inside that makes the connection. So, so I hope I did it right. I guess we'll find out. If we get a uh, airbag light after all this, this will be the first place that I check. Okay, man, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost done. So now what we have to do is get these torque bolts removed from the old steering wheel. The way we're going to do that is we're going to remove the plastic cover. By removing these two Phillips and bolts, plastic cover should come off, and we'll be able to get those Torx bolts and then reinstall them on the Toyota wheel. So before we install the steering wheel, let's go ahead and replace this stock and the way we're going to do that is we're going to remove these two Phillips head screws. This plastic piece will come off. We should have easy access to this guy. I forgot there's one underneath we got to get to. So the bottom kind of pops off, and then you'll see there's a clip there. So after a little gentle wrestling, I was able to remove the top cover here. And again, we have another switch or another clip. Screwdriver in. Moves it out, give it a wiggle. Come on. And out it comes. Now we take our new one and slide her in. 
click, click. All right, this will just plug in here. Let me go ahead and line it up and get it on here. I got the wheel on here and man, it feels incredible. So now we're gonna go ahead, hook the airbag up. Again, we're gonna go black to black and red to red. And then the ground, which we can do right now actually, is going to plug in right here. Boom, grounded. All right, man, it's on there. Holy cow, what a pain in the butt those airbag screws were. Let's go ahead and hook the battery up and let's see if the airbag blows off in our face. <laughs> we'll do it from over here. All right, the wipers work. Let's uh, see how the intermittent works. Is it going? Is it going? <laughs> yes, it's going, all right. Let's see, do we speed it up by just turning that knob? Yes, we do. All right, pretty neat. So this works. Turn that all the way, and then we got a real delay here. Come on, you can do it. There it is. All right, now we're gonna actually try to start the car. I feel like I should have a helmet on <laughs> doing this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it worked. It didn't blow up. And we don't have any codes. So that's the video today guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think this upgrade is worth doing? I think it's incredible. This is the steering wheel that should have come with this car. Um, not only does it look amazing, but it feels amazing. So before I go, I wanna give a huge shout out to Marcus Williams. I never would have been able to do this without his help. He was helping me throughout the entire way. And uh, I am looking forward to him putting a leather wrap on his wheel, but seriously, he was a huge help to me. So thank you, Marcus. And guys, go ahead, leave me a comment below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, head over to ExtremeDollarDrivers.com, pick yourself up a Disobey Xbox shirt. And yeah, man, we'll see you next week. Let me know if you think those was a banger like I promised. Take it easy, guys. See you later.